Hello fans and makers of homemade TDG, this is crazy as can be, Lemon! With a new video, in this video I'm gonna make a background for the card uh, I have shown you in the previous video, I've printed out, so we can do a background here, that's why I leave a white space. But before that, I'm gonna show with which material I will be working. So, first things first, what is this crazy convention? This is actually my camera stander, so it is called a octopus stand. And I can see why. Uh, it may look funny, but it's actually really good. This is the first one I have. I was a little bit skeptic before, but it can really hold my uh, cell phone on it. So it costs uh, 5 euro. And euros are almost the same like a uh, dollar. So 5 euro is maybe 5 dollar or less. And here I use pencil. I will use pencil for my drawings. This is a 2B pencil. The B stands for black, so how higher the number, so 2, 3, 4, how darker it gets. You also have H, that's hard, but I don't recommend H pencils because H pencils leave marking on your paper and that is not easy to erase. Also, we have here a liner. Because I'm doing background, I'm going to use a fine lining. So you can see it's really fine, you cannot see it. This is actually the metal. The uh, liner is even thinner, it's on top of here. And something I don't know much uh, if you already know or have ever seen this. This is my eraser. It's not your typical eraser, it's better, it's uh, bendable, it's, you can rip it apart. With one hand it's done easy. And you can make it in smaller erasers for only smaller details erasing. So you're not erase too much of the things you want to keep. Uh, something else about the 2, uh, 2B pencil. This pencil uh, gets uh, quickly flat and that is why you need a pencil swiper. So, so I'm going to move location for uh, on my desk so I can start with the background. I'll see you soon! So here we are on my desk. And why did we move on the desk? Because I have a light here, it's getting dark. And I'm going to make here the background for the card Slime Evaporation. The idea I have is uh, because evaporation, I want to have something like smog or uh, damp around the uh, slime monster. So it's because, and it's damped is here, and here it's higher, so here the smoke is going to be smaller and here it's going to get bigger. I'm going to try it out. No replace. And here we go. Like I said, I'm using the 2B pencil for it. I'm going to talk about uh, stuff while I'm drawing. Hope you don't mind. If you mind, tell me. Then next time we're going to do some music video. Uh, yeah, so some things about my training card game called uh, Matchmakers. Why is it called Matchmakers? The first idea I had was um, Sudden Death. And a training card game called Sudden Death is not good. You cannot use that for a children training card game. I'm not a child, a child anymore. I'm, like some people say, a old but that's something that's still in discussion all right so sudden death is actually a term they use in sports so i don't know if you know something about sports if you're not a sporting type of person never mind i'm not also found not fond of sports uh, except nba i'm a nba fan but that's mostly because we don't get nba in the country I'm from. So, at the at the sports, uh, you have a moment that something happens that uh, the score is equal, and that is called a sudden death. So, they actually going to do a first one who gets the most points or get a total of points wins the game. And that's actually what is my training card game is about. You have to get as first 
enough points to win. So first I thought the first one to get 10 points wins the game. But actually that is not a good idea because then it will really be a short game. Because 10 is not much. Uh, I'm not so fond of some lines, so I'm using our good friend, the eraser. I have to be careful because this is printed paper, it's weaker than drawing paper. Like you can see with this eraser, you don't get mess. So your parents will be happy if you ever draw on bed. You don't leave a mess. Sometimes I draw on bed uh, if I really get tired. Today I'm a little bit tired but not too much. I can still do some videos for you guys. I'm gonna make this thing yeah, a little bigger. And there we go. Yes! So that's the first smoke. I like that. That's good. Now we go here for the second one, something here, here and here, and then there. And yeah, so my training court game I decided to call Match Breakers. And it's totally different, I want to try something different than uh, the first one uh, will get the life points at zero wins. There's so many, so much done like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff like that. I don't want to copy that. I want to do something interesting, something new. That is why I want to do something with scores. So you need to get points in the game, and the first one will get enough points wins. Of course, your opponent can decrease your points. That is something you have to consider. So your deck must not only exist of um, only in cards to increase your points but you also have to have cards that decrease your opponent and there it can be go quickly I don't have a cards done for playtesting I hope in the future that will be something very soon But we have to wait and see for that. I'm not really fond of this. It looks more like the octopus than a smoke. I think I know what is the problem here. Let's see if I can fix it. So that's here and that's way over there. That looks a little bit better. Then we go back here. Yes, much, much better. So, when did I decide to make trading cards? Actually, a long, long time already because I made some trading card games before, uh, but I'm not going to talk about that too much because I stopped away from that channel. It is now my channel. That I will be using and will I be staying? I hope so because I'm having fun making trading card games for you guys. Alright. So actually these these two smokes I already like. But we still have a much uh, white place uh, left, so we're gonna try some a little bit of, let's see, let's see what hmm, how do we look? Maybe here. Let's try it out. So we go here and then above. Some curlies. Some small piece here. Some bigger ones there. Like this. And like this. Smoke is not natural. It's a little. It's not all all, all lines and perfect circles. And that is really bugging me. <laughs> How you can make it look like a smoke and not like something really extracted art. I don't understand extract art. 
There's something also I want to talk about. Um, actually, when I was small, I did some uh, class. It was actually a store that in, that teaches in drawing, but uh, they couldn't learn anything new. And the owner, store owner, says, "Hey, you you might want to take your son because he has talent." I don't think it's talent, I don't think it's practice. It's talent for drawing. Why not let him study art? And my parents told, I was really aesthetic, I wanted to do it, I wanted to go study for arts. But my parents don't didn't let me because they didn't see a future for me in arts. And that's something that I really... Uh, and I'm thinking about uh, that I missed in my life, maybe going to how would my art look like if I did go to a uh, study for arts or did some more for it because in the years I got from all I said I did not know you can draw yeah I can draw but only if I have set my mind to it I like to smoke. I think this is enough smoke. Now you have here the tears, the tears. Uh, so I want to do below the eye little spats of dried up tears. But really, really, really little spots of tears. Maybe a little there. Right. Something like that maybe. And then more little spots here and here. Uh, I don't like it so much. Uh, I'm gonna try something else. Um, I look for inspiration sometimes, so for what I can use. See what we have here. So, actually, I don't know what to talk about much. Maybe you can, you guys can help me by telling. Yeah, uh, Lemon, I want to talk about that in your next video. Let me know in the comment. That might be a great idea, and then I have a topic. To talk about and not blabbering about some crazy things people think i'm already crazy you guys think i'm crazy all right i'm really happy with the results there's still some uh, stuff left some white stuff left but i think i don't need more or maybe it will be too much of the of the good things so i'm gonna line it out real quick and then I'm gonna show you the end results. If I can find my liner. Ah, here we have. So, why did I print it out so large? Because my partner is also going to work with me in my channel and my videos. She my girlfriend will be coloring my designs. Why? Because actually I hate coloring. I really really hate it. Some might find it really the best thing there is but I don't have the patience for it. I can draw, I can sit days for one design but coloring I don't have the patience for that. So that is why I'm making a background so I can put this on her desk and she can start coloring it in. And that will be funny because I ask her not to show me which cards she will be color coloring. And I don't want to see her doing the coloring because I want to be surprised which color combination she will be using. 
and I will record my expression. So I hope it will be good or else I will be sleeping on the bench.